Contingency. Ambush. Oh no. Different level. This is a snow level. Just still like old times. Contingency. Still called contingency. Oh god, I feel like a freaking idiot. I accidentally... You know, during the last voiceovers, I was talking about uh, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh -huh. I just wrote down the wrong title for the wrong level. Oh. Completely threw me off. So... But there, the White House does show up later. Okay. And the next level, I believe. So. Not too bad. This is a, a stealth-ish mission for the first part. Stealth-ish mission? I'm not sure. You're wearing white outfit? Yes. A white ghillie suit or something. I don't know. <clears throat> you have to wait for this patrol to walk past, and then... The couple cars are going to drive past, and then you do the thing you've been so good at, I think on the cliffhanger level, you know, snipe two different groups of patrolling guards without tipping anybody off. Okay. Pretty fun shit. Sounds like it. <laughs> Is that all you got to say? <laughs> You're just reaffirming everything I say. Yeah, I haven't touched this game yet. I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, you sniped a guy, mm -hmm. yes, and you'll snipe another. Mm-hmm. Not to alert anyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, why do you hold the knife when you've got a pistol? For um, jabbing? You hold, I. He's using his left forearm to balance it while he's aiming. Uh -huh. And he but, just and always I, has a knife in that hand? And I guess he has the knife in case he needs to stab quickly. Mm -hmm. It it does a different kind of thrusting motion with the knife when you have only the pistol out. So I'm kind of looking forward to experimenting, seeing if that's a uh, like if there's a longer range for meleeing mm. when you have just the pistol out. I bet I bet it will be. One of the perks for multiplayer is uh, I forget what it's called, but it lets you melee longer distances. Hmm. And in World at War, uh, you could put a bayonet on. The end of your rifle, which would let you lunge farther as well. Yeah, well, I would think so. Yeah. Oh god. So this part. Oh, actually, I didn't have to edit out any deaths on this first video. That's great. Um, on my trial runs, and just very recently, I was just replaying through this level, like not five minutes ago. Um, those trees can fall and crush you. Uh -huh. First time through the game, no problems. Mm -hmm. Second time through the game, got crushed ten times. <laughs> Third time, recording time, fortunately, I didn't get killed at all. Uh, there's another patrol just walking by, just let them slowly, or just be quiet and let them slink past. You're going to let someone live? I'm sure if I wanted to, you could take them all out really quickly, but... Not worth there, There's a couple groups up ahead where um, he says... Do you want to kill them or just sneak past? And I, every time I kill them, <laughs> obviously. Now the snow doesn't look quite as good as uh, Uncharted snow. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't stick to your clothing. But then again, you can't see your guy. Right, it's not first person, or not third person. Yeah, well, not not every game can be Uncharted too. There was a blog post today on some website comparing the 360 and PS3 versions of this game. Uh -huh. And uh, the PS3 version looked a hell of a lot better, or a hell of a lot shittier. And then, of course, after Kotaku and all the other blogs picked it up, mm -hmm. they came back and said, oh, we messed up taking the screenshots. We'll come <laughs> back to you later with, <laughs> with actual relevant stuff. So this is recorded on the 360, like I've mentioned before. And Gamefly, I got a text message from them today saying that it uh, uh, shipped for the PS3. Oh. So I might end up buying it for the PC anyway, just to Compare the make three. a comparison video. Uh, Price is going to take out the dog and his trainer on the left. So just take out the guys on the right. It's not too hard. Okay. Now, are the trophies and achievements identical? I haven't looked. But I would assume so. I mean, for a, for most of the multi-platform games, they're completely identical, uh, except the PS3 has the platinum trophy for getting all the achievements. Slash trophies. Slash trophies. Slash whatever. <laughs> it's cool though. Like Valve, though they 
had they add a ton of achievements for their games on Steam for for like TF2 oh. and uh, because on the 360 and I would assume the PlayStation 3 you can only have 50 achievements. Oh really? And on TF2 there's a lot of achievements and whereas the orange box mm-hmm. had 50 total but TF2 has a lot more than just 50. Do you understand what I just said? Yeah, I'm trying to divide a thousand by fifty. A thousand by fifty, it's twenty. So some okay. So you can't have all five gamer score achievements. You have to have some big ones. Right. Oh, so well, they have to average out to twenty. Right. They they average out or you don't have to use fifty. I mean most games right. do do all fifty, but do do fifty. Call of Duty. Oh man. Do do. Dude, I want to go sledding. Are you sledding? Yeah, you slide down the hill. <laughs> Pick up. Uh, there's a, uh, a sub machine or a large machine gun with the thermal heartbeat sensor right on that crate. Be sure to pick that up for the rest of the level. It'll make it a lot easier for you. 